What's up, Trade Hackers? Welcome to today's update. Today is Thursday, March 26th. Starting with the Trade Hacker question of the day, I thought this was pretty timely based on some of the price action we're seeing today. The question is, so news moves the market, right? Certain news events, data points, releases, announcements, headlines move the market. So why don't we trade news? We always talk about we don't trade news. We trade based on statistics and probabilities. And here's why. So this morning, 7.30 a.m. Central Time, so before one hour before the markets opened, was the jobless claims report. And in anticipation of the jobless claims report, there's always an estimate of what that will be. And the, the estimate was, I heard a couple different things, but let's call it 1.6 million. So the claim was going to be 1.6 million new people filed for unemployment. And that was kind of the estimate. But what happened is the actual numbers that were reported this morning were closer to, I think it was 3.2 million or 3.6 million was the actual number of people who filed unemployment. So double the number of people who filed unemployment. So you would think, you would look at that and say, okay, if I knew that before the numbers came out, what would I do with that? And the answer, I think for most people would be, I would short the market right? I would, I would want short Delta. I would want short positions on because the market is not going to like that because it was worse than expected. More people filed for unemployment than was expected. Well, what happened? Well, the market opened pretty flat. It was actually down a little bit before those numbers came out. And then it started going up, got to about even on the day. And then today it has just continued to rip higher. The S&P is up 112 points. Now we still have a little over an hour to go before the market closes, but you know the S and P's up 100, Dow's up over a thousand, Nasdaq up over 285, Russell up over 57. So, just a, a massive move higher, as if that was good news. So that's why I say you can't trade based on news. And the same thing goes for earnings announcements for stocks. I've talked to multiple CEOs or former CEOs of publicly traded companies, and they are the people who are performing the announcement on the conference calls. They're the ones reporting the numbers. They know the numbers before the public does, and they don't even know what their stock is going to do after those numbers are released. Okay. So that's why I want to really pound it home that trying to trade based on what you think the market's going to do based on a specific news reaction, even if you know what the outcome of the news is before it happens it's still, the market's not always going to react that way. And so that's a perfect example of what happened today. So I was actually looking at it, you know, last night thinking, gosh, you know, I wish I would have gotten more short positions on yesterday because I know this jobless claims is going to disappoint. And I was pretty sure that the market was going to go down today. And what happened? Well, it ripped higher. So Nobody knows. I don't know. Warren Buffett doesn't know. Nobody knows. Uh, so that's why you've got to play your trading with statistics and probabilities like we do. All right. So what did we do today? Well, based on this big up move that we are seeing, we actually added some short delta. We added some short delta in XRT, which is the retail sector. I think there's more downside in the retail sector to come. Uh, there's just there's so many businesses that are you know shut down, going to get hurt, and you know some of that is already priced in. But I th but I think we're going to see some further downside. The other thing that we went added some short delta on is win. So uh, win is actually down three percent now, but when we put it on, win was up on the day. So that one's already working in our favor, but we, we added a bunker strategy. So just like we teach in our course, typically a lot of times we're doing those on indices on like the SPY or XRT or some of these indexes. But in this case, you know, I just think there's more downside on the casino. So I went ahead and picked out an individual and that being win casino. So bye-bye win. We'll see you later, hopefully. <laughs> Uh, so that's what we did today. We also closed out an iron duck and SPY booked a beak profit on that. And then we are loving our double calendars uh, with the current implied volatility environment. We can get these things super wide with these double calendars in a, in a big index like an SPX. And so we entered one. We're going to take another one off, book a couple thousand dollars of profit per contract and enter another one. So 
Those are working well. So that's what we are doing. I hope everybody has a great evening. We'll talk to you tomorrow.